There are three approved uh, balloons in the U.S. Um, and it's pretty uh, given typically for the typical patient that has a BMI of 30 to 40. Um, the problem with the balloons is, is twofold. They're not permanent, so when, when they're in there, they induce a sort of a gastric satiety by making you feel full, so you eat less. Uh, but typically, some of the balloons are there for uh, six months and some are there for a year, um, but they all have to be removed. And what we need is something that would continue the weight loss after the balloon is removed, because a lot of studies have shown that with the balloon in place, you lose weight, the balloon comes out, you regain back uh, some of that weight. And um, at Cornell, we work uh, very closely with the endocrinologists and a weight loss comprehensive center. Um, and uh, they've been doing medications or giving out medications for the last 30 years, so it's nothing new for them. And when we, when we partnered with them um, to ensure that patients who are paying out of pocket who want to see good weight loss, uh, we started supplementing um, their uh, or adding to the balloons, uh, adding medications to the balloons, to those that want it. And uh, we typically add medications either at the three month mark or at six months when you uh, remove the balloon. And so what we've uh, seen with this is that the weight loss continues and you continue to have more weight loss than if you didn't have uh, the medications. And so this sort of shows us that um, really what we're looking at is not just endoscopy alone, you're looking at endoscopy plus medication medications and combination therapies for these non-surgical treatments should be the key uh, to offer uh, patients and that's how you're going to get better weight loss and more sustained weight loss out there. The drugs are also very expensive. There are five approved F FDA medications that I, I think maybe one uh, also on the way. A lot of them um, can be given in combination. Those are the expensive ones, but you can give uh, the single agents, and those are a little bit cheaper. There are generic forms. And so uh, typically what we do is we start with one of the safest drugs out there, metformin, which is not actually approved for uh, weight loss, but it does uh, cause a lot of weight loss in, in certain patients. And then, you, then we add other things, depending on why the patient has uh, weight gain. So there are different pathways for that. And we typically give the medication, uh, tailor it to their reason for weight gain. So if they have a lot of cravings, we give them anti-craving medications. If they have uh, rapid gastric uh, emptying, then we give them something that would delay uh, emptying so that they feel full for longer.